Good day everyone, my name is Roxanne Nalim from BSEPB Mathematics. So for today's video, I'm going to discuss the Wilson's theorem. So first, let us discuss the objectives of this lesson. So at the end of this lesson, the students should be able to first identify who is the founder of Wilson's theorem. Next, define and discuss the definition and formula of Wilson's theorem. And third, solve problems that are related to finding remainders using Wilson's theorem. To begin with, let me discuss who is the founder of Wilson's theorem. The founder of Wilson's theorem is John Wilson. He is born on August 6, 1741 and died on October 18, 1793. John Wilson is best known for Wilson's theorem. If P is prime, then 1 plus P minus 1 factorial is divided by, by P. So that John Wilson is known among mathematicians for Wilson's theorem. So now, what is Wilson's theorem? According to Wikipedia, in number theory, it states that a natural number n is greater to 1 is a prime number if and only if the product of all the positive integers less than n is 1 less than a multiple of n. Or read as n minus 1 factorial is equal to negative 1 mod n. In addition, the modulo or modulus or mod is the remainder after dividing one number by another. So for the better understanding of Wilson's theorem, let me state some examples. Examples of finding remainders using Wilson's theorem. For the following questions, we will be frequently using Wilson's theorem, which states that for a prime, P, or P minus 1 factorial, is identical to 1 and mod p. Example number 1. Find the remainder of 53 factorial when divided by 61. We know that by Wilson's theorem, 60 factorial is identical to a negative 1 mod 61. Decomposing 60 factorial, we get that times 59 times 58 times 57 times 56 times 55 times 54 times 53 times 52 times 51 factorial is identical to negative 1 mod 61. Negative 1 times negative 2 times negative 3 times negative 4 times negative 5 times negative 6 times negative 7 times negative 8 times negative 9 times 51 factorial is identical to negative 1 mod 61. Negative 362880 times 51 factorial is identical to negative 1 mod 61. To cancel and cancel the negative sign, 362880 times 51 factorial is identical to 1 mod 61. 52 times 51 factorial is identical to 1 mod 61. Next, we will now use the division algorithm to find a modular inverse of 52 mod 61. 61 is equal to 52 times 1 plus 9. 52 is equal to 9 times 5 plus 7. 9 is equal to 7 times 1 plus 2. 7 is equal to 2 times 3 plus 1. 1 is equal to 7 plus 2 times negative 3. 1 is equal to 7 plus 9 plus 7 times negative 1 times negative 3. 1 is equal to 9 times negative 3 plus 7 times 4. 1 is equal to 9 times negative 3 plus 52 plus 9 
times negative 5 times 4. 1 is equal to 52 times 4 times plus 9 times negative 23. 1 is equal to 52 times 4 plus 61 plus 52 times negative 1 times negative 23. 1 is equal to 61 times negative 23 plus 52 times 27. Hence, 27 can be used as an inverse mod 61. We thus get that 27 times 52 times 51 factorial is identical to 27 times 1 mod 61 and times 51 factorial and identical to 27 mod 61. Hence, the remainder of 51 factorial when divided by 61 is 27. That would be all for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope that you've learned a lot. God bless and keep safe.